The ART buses are not running yet, but that has not kept the city from renaming a few of its signature stops. And one of those changes has people asking if the city got it wrong. News 13's Chris McKee is live downtown tonight at 6th and Gold to explain. Yeah, Dean, this art station right here on the corner is one of a handful that the city has renamed. And you can see it here behind me. It used to be called Downtown. Now it's actually called Borellis. Technically, though, we're not even in Borellis. They've sat idle for three years now. But by the time passengers finally start using the ART bus platforms, some of the stations will actually have gone through a pretty notable change. This is one small way that the city can honor that feedback from the neighborhood and communities. City spokeswoman Alicia Manzano. There have been some name changes um, along the corridor. Is talking about those signature bus stations, six of which now have new names, some evoking the city's history. Mostly to reflect a sense of place of where those stops are. They are in communities, they are in neighborhoods. It's not just a single street name. The Atrisco station is now called Town of Atrisco, named for the historic land grant. Further east, the Louisiana Station is now the International District Station, but one that may stand out is downtown. What do you think about that? I don't think it's Barelas. I think it's downtown, actually. The 6th and Gold Station is now called Borellas. Now, while the station sign may say Borellas, technically, the Neighborhood Association's boundary from here at 6th and Gold is still a couple blocks to the south. It's puzzling to some. Do you think you're in Borellas when you're standing right here? No, I think I'm in downtown. <laughs> I thought that exact same thing. Josh Hammond lives in Borellas. I love that place, but this is this is downtown. The city says it knows that 6th and Gold isn't technically Borellas, but... It's super close to Borellas. It makes sense to get to the Borellas neighborhood through that stop. And why not name it Borellas to honor that neighborhood? Now, to replace those six signs, the city actually spent $21,000 to do it, but they say that all of that funding came from the original $75 million FTA grant, or the federal money that the art project received in a big part to build the project. So again, the city says that no new monies went into paying for the signs. Back to you. All right, thank you, Chris. Now, the city says it hopes to launch full ART services this winter, but has not yet said if that will be before or after the new year.